Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss the property of ozone formation by monosaccharides. So, if we we'll take a monosaccharide like D-glucose and add phenyl hydrazin, then phenyl hydrazone is formed which undergoes tautomerization and finally result in formation of this product and release of aniline. Further two molecules of phenylhydrazine are again added and the resulting crystals are obtained of osazone along with the release of aniline and one molecule of ammonia. So in formation of osazone three molecules of phenylhydrazine are consumed. These osazone are basically crystals. These are crystal shape. And these are also specific for a particular sugar. For example, if we take the D-glucose, then glucosazone will be formed. If the sugar is fructose, then fructosazone will be obtained and if maltose is taken then maltosazone will be obtained these all are needle shaped crystals osazones of these sugar will form needle shaped crystals powder puff or Tennis ball like crystals are formed in case of lactosazone and sunflower like crystals are formed by maltosazones. So these are the osazones, various types of osazones formed by the monosaccharides. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.